I'm John Harrell, north of Wiggum, Georgia. I want to welcome everybody to Grady County. Uh, it'll be the first time the peanut tour in my recollection has ever been to Grady County and I'm so proud to have y'all here and uh, especially on my farm in north Grady County. Uh, we're going to look at some dryland peanuts this year and show you the problems that an irrigated farmer does not have. And this year we've um, increased our peanuts a little bit like most of Georgia has and we're growing about 300 acres of peanuts this year between my brother, my son, and me. So, uh, and more than half of them are irrigated. But we're currently going to look at some dry land peanuts. On our farm we also grow cotton and we grow about three times cotton we grow peanuts and cotton, irrigated cotton looks good this year. Dry land cotton um, was affected by dry weather and it stopped and probably it's a little too late to start again this year. Dr. John Baldwin used to say if it don't rain it don't matter and we had a really nice looking crop at the end of July and y'all are by here this week crop looks mighty good but we only had an inch and a half of rain the whole month of August and we've had more than that in the last week. We've had some tomato spotted wilt virus, probably the systemic type. Uh, I've had a little bit of white mold in some of the irrigated, but uh, we've seemed to arrested it. And we've had uh, soybean loopers the whole year in our peanuts, irrigated and dry land. Uh, they only got to the level of one time we had to treat them. And they're still in them, but they're in low enough levels that um, we can live with them. 